This is my family. So loving, so full of life. My dad, a wealthy businessman, a caring father, a loving husband. My mom, a doting mother, a devoted wife. such a loving family, suddenly we found ourselves here. Then it got worse. And I ended up here. How did it all go down? This is the story of my life. So, so, okay, now, 2 plus x is equal to 4. Okay, so, how do you get your x? Well, this is not the way I teach you, Dr. Ross. Eh, really? Yes. Okay. Young man, you know what's going to happen? They're going to go and meet your teacher to teach. Daddy, no. Mm. Daddy, please. You know, when you look at me like that, I used to melt. <laughs> I used to melt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bring it. <laughs> Daddy, you want to ride us? Really? Yes, new danger. Help me out. Daddy, no. Uh, okay, I'm coming, Your Royal Highness. 
<laughs> oh yeah, climb. Let us go. <laughs> yeah, I should move on. Okay. Let's <laughs> get there. <laughs> you are not serious. Come and save me now, baby. <laughs> save me <your life. laughs> The horse is tired. The horse wants to faint. Can I bring water for the horse? Can I go? You are free. Oh. Just because I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. Yeah. You better come and see him. That's money to pay for us. Your best. Oh, Your special because. <laughs> so who is praying for us? Go to pray for us. Pray for us. Why are you laughing? Good, don't mind them. But on the second floor, I think Daddy should pray for us. I think so. Okay, Daddy, I am very hungry. I can eat the whole house. Daddy, right. pray for us. Well, saying your prayers, right? See, let me tell you. Prayer is not going to work for you at this point. Huh? Listen, Ben. Your only chance out of here is talking. And you are neither helping us nor you with this your silence. Guy, what are you talking about? See, look at me. If I kill you for inside this room, I repeat, if I kill you for here, nobody will query me. Better talk. Officer, calm down. How are you guys doing? Come on, sir. What's going on? Sir, uh, this guy is not talking. He's not talking at all. We've tried all our best. He's just wasting our time. That, that's true, sir. Calm down, Thompson. That's true, sir. Oh, uh, mm, you just have to calm down, officer. Uh, ben, isn't it? Listen to me. We are here to help you out in this matter. But for us to help you, you have to cooperate with us. You have to talk at every point in time. I think I'm taking over this matter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you report everything directly to me. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is something about the boy that really intrigued me. I'm keenly interested in this matter. So I'd like to see you. Yes, sir. Over to you. Thank you, sir. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. So, Alpha. Hmm. You won't believe it hasn't dropped. Uh oh. I'm serious. Are you kidding me? 
I'm serious. Oh no now, be serious for once. Hey, hey. Maybe you are trying to dodge the promise mm. you made. You're laughing daddy, laughing mommy. <laughs> Man. How? Hey, hey. No, 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 serious note. How much is the money you're asking for that? Mm. A whole me. Big man. A whole me. <laughs> you are wedding it. Eh, uh, you know. I even spoke with the manager. Okay. He said he hasn't dropped. Oh, oh but don't worry. Painful. Don't worry. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can still stop ah, me. Ah, sorry, it's Balogun. <laughs> Maybe they won't talk about the boy. Hello, Chief Balogun himself. Mm. How are you? Yeah, we should meet. Ah, okay, oh. Uh, you will send your address? All right, I'll be there. Mm. <laughs> All right, thank you. So what did he say? Hope he's about money. Mm. Me hey you, Ben! Sorry. Ben! Come on, are, you talking, are you talking to my you wife need, like You that? need to want this girl. I'm What's sorry, your home? You so <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you are so funny. <laughs> Oh, oh that <laughs> How is things generally with you now? Uh, it's been fine so far. Though it's, it isn't easy being a fresh lawyer, trying to make a name for yourself. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. I know. Mm. This song. What is it? Why do I feel left out? Why? Ah. <laughs> Mommy, you're funny. <laughs> Are you jealous? Uh, uh, well, yes, I, I can't help it. <laughs> Uh, 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 I just took up a new case. Oh, so what's so interesting about this case? Mm, it's a murder case. Wow. Wow. May wow. ease our soul rest in peace. Amen. It involves a 21 years old boy. Mm. He was caught at the crime scene. Mm. So, case solved five clothes, right? Uh, no. Oh, there is something that really bothers me about the whole scenario. The boy is not talking. A gun was caught with him at the crime scene. And there were bullet wounds on the cops. Okay, gun? When we examined the magazine with the gun, it was full. Hmm. What is amazing everybody now is the bullet wounds on the cops were totally different from the gun found with the boy, the suspects. Wow. Yeah. That's a tough one. Very interesting too. Doesn't correlate. As I was saying, he does not even have a lawyer. Hmm. When I looked deep into the boy's eyes, I saw a deep pain. I wish I could help him. Hmm. But there's nothing I can do. Dad? Yes, love. How about I represent him as his lawyer? Wow, that's amazing. I never thought of that. Are you for it? Sure, Dad. That's good. That's very good. Good. And now that uh, Madam General concurs, that mm. settles everything. <laughs> that settles it. That well, just well, 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 <laughs> on a more serious note. I think you should try and preach to him. Mm. We yes, sure. yes. May God help us. Amen. Well, there's one thing I want to say. You, the father, as the IPU, oh, yes. and daughter, the lawyer, what will I, mom, be? Go. <laughs> Go. Okay, yeah, okay, I think we have a way now. Mm -hmm. You just be the intercessor. Wow. And take it from me. That is the most important aspect of it all. That's good. I, I so love God this. will help you. And I take that Amen. Up. Let's go and hit. Akweke! Thank you. Hi. Not much of a talker, I guess. Officer, can you please excuse us? I will wait right here. Okay, thank you. I'm Ruby. Ruby Johnson. Detective Bayer Johnson is my dad. 
I'm a lawyer and I would like to represent you in court. I'm sorry, I'm trying to help you right, but your silence isn't helping much. I am also very sorry, but I did not ask for your help. So... So what? So if you are done, I would like to return to my cell. I have got some thinking to do. And are we done here? I believe we are. Thank you, officer. That would be all. Like his words were so annoying. I mean, can you believe it? I think I told you. That the boy is not cooperating. You should have expected that from him. I told you. Really? Okay, calm down. Calm down. Come on, sit down. I, I think the, the, the boy needs our prayer. We have to pray for him. I, I, I thought we gave mom that assignment. Uh, yes, of course, but, but there is nothing stopping us from joining our in prayer for the boy. Can we do it? Okay, Dad. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for your son, Ben. Thank you because you are aware of what everything is going through. Father, we pray that you intervene. Amen. Take up this matter in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now see yourself. Now are you refreshing? <laughs> it's refreshing, Dad. Thank you. <sighs> but on a serious note, I it? need to ask you a question. Go ahead. Does Ben have any relative or nest of kin or anything? Well, he has a mother and a sister. Great! So where are they? Don't get too exact. The mother is in a psychiatric home, as we're talking. Sh she ran mad? Not really. They say it's a acute depression. She's not responding to our environment. Neither talking to anybody. And his sister? No idea. Do you have the address of the hospital? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, What's okay. happening? Where are you going? Uh, Dad, please send me the ad hospital address. You going to see her? Yes. I don't think that is a good, good idea. I know, I know. But I have to do something. I have so much burden for that young man. Love you. Love you too. But this is the address. This girl, she wouldn't take things easy. Father, please intervene in this matter. I commit your daughter unto your hand. Help her, hold on. Yeah. We need. We need. Doctor! Oh! Doctor! I want help! For you. We meet again. I would like you to speak to someone. Benjamin! My son! Ah, my son! Benjamin! I'm sorry, Mom. But why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I broke into the apartment. I had planned the operation for months. It was meant to be straightforward. Go in, kill, go out. But things were not that simple. <laughs> Man, why? How could you? Why now? Why? I got in, only to find my supposed victim dead. For a second, I thought, who did this? Who was the animal that killed him? And then it occurred to me that I was about to do the same thing. 
Hi, Benjamin Oyewole wanted to commit murder. <laughs> so what happened? The, the police arrived and they surrounded me. You, you didn't try to run? No, I surrendered. I surrendered because I thought I deserved to be punished. I deserve to suffer for what I thought, for the thought I had. <laughs> I, I, I won't say I understand how you feel, but I understand it's very complex. But I need to know one thing. Who's that? Why do you want to kill? <laughs> like, what is the motive? You know, after my father died, all I wanted to do was to forget about it. But I just couldn't. Then, shortly, Mom, Gold and I, we lost everything. My father's family came and took everything with them. They took everything. <laughs> Mr. Badmos, the deceased. For his father's death, and he will live. He went out to drink with his friend, Mr. Balogun and Mr. Badmos, and he drove himself straight home from the place. And when he came in, he started complaining of stomach ache. Uh, I'm so sorry, ma. I know how you must feel. <laughs> A few minutes later, he was in deep pain and we took him to the hospital where it was confirmed that he was being poisoned. Not long after, he died and since that time, my son has been having this crazy idea that his friends must be responsible for the death, that Mr. Bad was at Mr. Balogu were responsible for the death of his father. And I told him to let go. I warned him. I said he should let go. They were not crazy ideas, Mom. Why? Why didn't they attend this burial? Why did they turn us away when we needed the help, Mom? Why? Why? So, Ben, you thought Mr. Badmos and Chief Balogun killed your father, Mr. Williams? Yes. Yes. God help us. Um, all right, Ma. Uh, we'll, we'll talk later. We'll continue this discussion later. Thank you, Ma. Pardon me, Ben. Are you born again? <laughs> like, I mean, do you believe in Jesus Christ? You know, my dad was a nominal Christian. But he never joked with church. He made sure with the children, cold and high, attended church every day. That was where I got to know the Lord. I wanted nothing more than to be in His presence. I was even an executive member in my teenage group in the church. But we lost everything. We, we lost everything, everything. The fact that you follow Christ does not mean bad situations or bad things won't come near you. Sometimes he allows those things to test our faith. I guess it's easier to follow Christ when all is smooth. <laughs> Only he can save and redeem you and set things right. I will admonish you to go back to him. Um, I will need to take my leave now. I need to go 
complete the papers and all documents for the next hearing. But, 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 why are you doing this? Why are you helping me? I don't have money. I, I, I don't have anything. I know. I know. I'm, I'm just serving God through you. Thank you for your cooperation and uh, that will be all for now. <laughs> You'll be fine. We are working on a case, actually. Okay. It's a murder case. And we are checking the cross-examination results of the bullet wounds on the corpses oh. before you came in. Wow, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, but can I join you guys? At least it would be a very good warm-up <laughs> for my very long rest. That's actually a good idea. Uh -huh. Well, I second that. Boss, what do you think? You. Okay, you are welcome on board. Ah, thank you so much. That's and fantastic. Yes. <laughs> What's that, sir? Well, those tech guys, they really did a good job. They were able to open Chief uh, Bad Mosfor. And they went through everything from text messages to emails to calls. And they found this uh, issue of ah, this. Sir, what are those? And they found this email. It's actually from uh, Chief Balogun. It really does. Mr. Man, you and I started this together. If you cannot stand the heat, you better leave the kitchen or else. Is that all, sir? Yes, I wonder what it means. I think it stands as a good lead for us. Sir, maybe it's nothing. Yeah. Rich is something. I eat this. Yes. Well, actually, I just, I think it's one of these old business that are gone, sir. Uh, and they probably might have said to that. Moreover, we have a guy we arrested with a gun near the cops. Mm -hmm. Even though there may be some question marks like the bullet not matching the gun mm -hmm. and others. Yeah. My take is that that guy just arranged that to get us off his trail. Mm, we can't say that, but the tone of this message is enough to kill. Yeah, it's strong enough to kill. Well, 
I think we are done for the day. I'm hungry. I need to go and eat. That's true. I'm starving too. Stop. <laughs> Let's go together. You too like food. <laughs> <laughs> the car. Tell Dad and Mom I'll be with them shortly. Okay. Yeah, good girl. Bobby, how are you? Ben, how far? Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We thank God. But what's wrong with you? It's my parents. They fought again. Very terrible. I'm very sorry. I know how you must feel. But Bobby, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Ask. Are you born again? What? I, I, I come to church. <laughs> but are you born again? Where? You see, being born again is not about church going or the payment of tithes and offering, but by the acknowledgement of Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life, and the acceptance of this truth in your heart. You see, in the Bible, in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, If a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You see, if you give your life to Jesus, all that you own, all that belongs to you, and all that you are connected to, belongs to Jesus Christ. And through you, God can help your family and your parents. Really? Yes. I, I'm ready to give my life to Jesus. Please Thank lead God. me to God. That's good. To go to him. Say after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Where did I miss it? Where did I go wrong? I allowed hurt and pain and suffering to blind me. I went to wild. I stole, I maimed, and I destroyed. Just because of one little thing, I turned my back on God. God have mercy. any problem? Chief, I think there is a little problem. Chief, um, only one man believes that you have a hand in this matter, but it's not yet um, that of a great threat yet. But I strongly believe that we should buy him over before it is too late, Chief. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I'll definitely work on that. Every man has his price. Even the best ones. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Chief, please, I will send these details. I have to go. Oh, no. Ah. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, sir. You are so happy this <laughs> morning. <laughs> what happened? Ah, sir, Jesus happened, sir. Wow. You mean you found Jesus? Yes, I did. I let out all of my heart, all of my pains, all of my burdens, and I have given it to Jesus. Uh, but sir, I need your help, sir. What is it? I'm here uh, for you. I need a Bible. And I think I need mentorship, sir. 
uh, as part of the Bible. Yes, I sir. promise to get you one ah, immediately you. I leave this thank place. Thank you very much, sir. And thank for you, the sir. mentoring aspect, I will be there as well. I really appreciate you. I promise you. Sir. I really uh, appreciate yeah. you. Pardon me, sir. May I ask, why are you here? Well, I initially came to tell you that in a week time we'll be needing you in a court to stand as a witness. You don't have to panic. Oh no, sir. I am not panicked. I know God will take control. Oh, wow. I'm impressed with your faith. Oh, exactly. Can we just pray? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. thank you for your son. Uh, you see, baby, honestly, I enjoyed yesterday night. And I seek for more. <laughs> I'm Oliver to his child. No! <laughs> Please hold on. Hold on, I'll call you back. Yes, come in. Chief. Ah. Good afternoon, sir. Please sit. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome, Officer Bayo. Thank you, sir. How, please, what, what can I offer you? Coke, juice, um, um, wine, snacks? Or, or what I, is I'm, that I'm you? okay, sir. Um, what can I do for you, sir? Oh, beautiful. Thank you, sir. You see? I received a summons to show up in your office today. And I would like to really know what for. Actually, it's not a big deal, sir. We are investigating a matter in relation to Chief Badmos, your good friend, uh, Dex. And uh, we just need to interrogate you. I think, I believe that should be the least you we like to do for him to have justice. So that's all, sir. Okay. Okay. No problem. Thank you, sir. But but you see, um, this is it. What is it, sir? I want you to drop that case. What? This is $50,000, all for you. All you need to do is drop that case. Seems fair. What the hell do you take me for? What are these? Yes, I'm sorry. Come on, come off this. Stop acting coy with me. If this is not enough for you, name your price. After all, all of us knows um, what you police officers are really up to. And I understand. Tell me your price. Well, for your information, sir, we are not all like that. And by the way, I am not like that. I think I've overstayed here. Hold on. You see, you are playing with fire at the Bayer Johnson. But I'll venture you know you are guilty. And I know very well that the law will catch up with you. Because I won't relent, I will surely see to that. Good day, sir.
Good morning, Mrs. Ru. How was your night? Fine. Did I scare you? Uh, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Not at all. Not at all. I just didn't know you've been there oh. the whole time. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. You don't even know what this much. Thank you for fighting for my son. Thank you. You are God sent to us. You even accommodate me and... You don't need to cry, Ma. You don't need to. I'm happy to be of help. And I also care a lot about Benjamin. I know. Thank you. It's fine. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. It's fine, Ma. Thank you. And I also thought of what you told me about Jesus. Okay. And I want to tell you that I'm ready. I'm ready. My husband and I were just church goers. But now, 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 I want Jesus in my life. I want to be happy again. I want to live again. I want Jesus. I want Jesus. I need him to help me. We thank the good Lord for giving you this encounter. I'm so happy to hear this. Let me put it here. Ah, just repeat after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I admit that I am a sinner. I admit that I'm a sinner. And in need of your mercy. Ah, I'm in need of your mercy, oh. I believe Chibalogun has earned in this matter. Sir, why did you say so? He invited me to his house. And guess what? He's trying to bribe me. What? I felt so insulted. <laughs> Sir, while you were not around, Thompson and I went over to the crime scene. Okay, and um, guess what we found? Wow, what is it? A CCTV camera, sir. Okay. Outside, not inside. And uh, we've had our computer guys work on it. And, and we found this. Wow, but it's not clear. Well, actually, it was in the night, and um, the CCTV camera is not clear enough, oh. and uh, the lighting is poor. Wow, is that a gun? Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Look closely at the gun, sir. What did you see? Yes, uh, it's a government reserve gun, and it could only be owned by a police officer. So, sir, do you mean that a corrupt police officer actually um, issued the gun or something? No. This evidence is inconclusive. You know, the criminal could have gotten the gun from a corrupt police officer. Are we now saying Ben is no longer... We have enough evidence to release Ben now? Yeah, not really, sir. You know, we found his fingerprint on the body mm -hmm. and we found him with the body as well. Okay. Uh, not until we conclude this case, let's just have him around with us here. Okay. But, sir, can the picture or the video, can it be enhanced so that we can see clearly who is in the video? Did you have your eyes? Uh, no, no. This is the best the computer guys can do. In fact, even for the little they did, we would not even have this with us. Sir, please, can I be excused? I have something very urgent to attend to. Okay, you may go. Thank you, sir. I'm sure to follow out, sir. Okay. Let me release you people. I also need to get to home in time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. yes. Yes, 
chief it's done it's time to finish the bastards someone just like that casually well they will surely pay dearly for it when they are caught that is certain they must surely they must pay for it okay. please i'm sorry hello hello yeah i'm with you Hello? What? Hello, Ruby? Uh, yes, uh, yeah, hello? Okay. Hello? Hello? Uh, ah, God. Sir, what is it? What happened? What is it? Someone just kidnapped my daughter, Ruby. Uh, She's been kidnapped. That's impossible. How? Oh, when? Where? How? Uh, they told me they will send the address and we had to meet them. They also want me not to inform anybody, not even the police. Uh, That's not possible. Uh, uh, what, sir, what will you do now? What's on your mind? What will you do? Where are you heading to? I think I need to clear my mind. If you don't mind, can I drop you at the next car park? I need to get you a place to clear my mind, please. Not a problem. It's fine. Oh, okay. God. Oh. Sir, just calm down. Just make sure you are calm. It's okay. It's all right. Just I wanted to go to the location immediately. But when I thought deeper about it, I realized I would be endangering our lives if I didn't call for backup. But then, I was warned not to inform the police. So as I was driving, the Holy Spirit reminded me of uh, Thompson. So I put a call across to him. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. I can see the blocks. I can't see you. Where exactly are you? Yes, I'm here. I'm here now. I can't see you. penalty of the crime I committed is death. I'm as good as a dead person my, as I speak with you. My God, I am so sorry. Don't be. I caused it. If I could turn back the hand of time. Do you know that there is a second chance? Do you know that it's not yet over? How do you mean? What I'm saying is that 
there is life after death. And this life is just a preamble, a determinant to where we will spend eternity, heaven or hell. If you are trying to preach to me, don't. I don't even believe in things like that. I mean, look at you. You are here. Maybe you committed or attempted murder. And you want to preach to me. Yes, you are right. But then I was lost. Now I have found my way to the bosom of my father. You are just trying to encourage yourself. Ben, please leave me alone. <laughs> but what will it cost you? Yes, I mean you are going to die. But what if I am right? What if there is eternity? Where do you think you are going to spend the rest of your life? Heaven or hell? When Jesus was to be crucified, there were two thieves by his side. One despised him, while the other accepted his love. The one that accepted Jesus' love got a spot beside him in heaven. Like those thieves, sooner or later, you are going to die. I should be comforting you, but this is how I know how to. I am offering you a second chance. Jesus is giving you a second chance so that you will not die a second death. Think on my words. <laughs> Lead me to him. To who? <laughs> to Jesus. Thank you. I want a second chance. I don't want to die twice. I want this spot in heaven. Please, Ben, show me to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. And make me holy again. And make me holy again. Thank you, Lord. Now that you have been forgiven, go and sing no more. The Bible is our constitution. Get one and read it. I pray God gives you peace. Thanks, Ben. For what? For giving me the best gift in the world. You're welcome. Father, Lord, I thank you for today. I thank you for helping me to save a soul today. Ah, oh, Jesus, I thank you for everything. I give you all the praise. I worship you, Lord. I... What am I feeling? This tension in my spirit. Oh, my God. I should pray. Huh. Father, Lord, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Father, Lord, I thank you for Detective Bayo and his daughter that you have given to me. Father, Lord, I ask that you protect them, that you preserve them, that you watch over them. Father, Lord, be their shield, be their buckler. Father, Lord, let them hide under your shadow. Where am I? Dad. Ah, oh, Ruth. It's okay. It's alright. Just be calm. Dad, I'm scared. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. How did you get here? Huh? Ah. So, you are like this. The great detective buyer. Drenched in water, God. like a chicken in the rain. Shh. Useless man. 
Let me get this. You are one of them. I go. Ah. You remember me? Wow. Such a beautiful daughter here. Don't dare lay your filthy hand on her. Ah! Don't dare do that! <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> you make me laugh. You are really in no position to threaten me. Is it clean? No tracking device, nothing? It's clean, sir. I checked it myself. Oh, good. You see, you were supposed to accept that money. You were supposed to hand that money. But now, you will pay. So, who amongst you dies first? The fact that you take Fanta and Coke mm -hmm. does not make you a better man. Mm -hmm. See, this, this, this drink that you all, always say is alcoholic, mm -hmm. don't want it, is very good for us. Ah. Good for you. Taste it. Taste it once. You will see that God is even good. You are mm -hmm. very funny. I am a Christian, I don't drink. Take a sip, my friend. Thank you. Say, say, wait, 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 you cannot continue to eat. Take a seat, take a wait, wait, I'll wait. I'll try with this one. There we go. I want oh. to use my seat, I'm falling. If you like. Is it that you are running away? Me. You are running. I cannot see you. I'm coming. We will not, we will not take this drink. I'm um, fully prepared. Let's press in this one. Thank you. Let's press in it. Fast in this one here. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> back, Jerry. Mm. Sometimes it's good to leave the corner of our houses and mm. then so come enjoy to a place ourselves. like this and sit yeah, and enjoy. Good. No disturbance. The smoking and all these things we are seeing around. Don't worry, it's part of life. You see? Take your drink. Take your drink. Drink more, drink more. I'm taking mine. Take yours. <laughs> Ah, I'm okay. I told my head on the bathroom by this time. Mm. You are going? Yes. Oh, my Thank you. It's alright. No problem. Let's go. It's alright. It's alright. Take care of yourself. Alright, bro. Bring your family. You didn't even finish your drink. 
Drink more. I'm okay. It's all right. I'll see you guys. Okay. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, I will not see you again. Finish it. Yeah, you. I like Kuba. And you, Paul. I trusted you. Why do you trust me? Because I refer you, sir. Because I'm friendly. We don't even know each other. So why would you trust me? I thought I knew you. Well, obviously you don't. And you're finding out just too late. Please, can you just stop pointing that gun at my daughter? She's freaked out already. Please. Shut up! <sighs> And why are you doing this? Simply the government. Why the government? What does government have to do with this? Will you shut up and let me do the talking? We, the police officers, are shit in this country. And even the people see us as shit. So you just check the pay. Do you expect me to risk my life every blessed day for that thing called a salary? I doubt that. I started well just like you. Highly optimistic, very obedient, and very diligent. But I saw that we were not appreciated. We daily risked our lives. While those pot bellied politicians ate all the men. And now came Chief with his mouth watering, irresistible offer. I will have someone to make So, I just fall. He was ready to take the offer, unlike you. But how does this concern us? How? Paul, why do you have to sell your country and your conscience for monetary sake? I said shut up! I killed Badmos! Chief needed him dead. And I did a clean job. I thought I was all free until you found that video on the CCTV. You? It's not even clear enough. I knew that. But I know you will not give up until you get hold of the culprit. So, I called the chief and we decided to end this. Why did you kill your friends? Well, um, sister, I will answer your question. Because you are so pretty. Hey, hey, watch it. W watch your step. <laughs> Don't give yourself high blood pressure, Mr. Man. She's all going to be mine after you're dead. You're beautiful. Well, bad balls on how you killed Willie. And uh, we did that to enable us to have uh, a bigger portion of the money because we knew that once the number of the people on that particular money reduces, that huge share. So we killed Williams. Five years later, Badmos found the religion and decided to restitute. I don't have any problem with religion. But I have a big problem with restitution. It was hard to bend. He had decided that he was going to say everything that we did. And I sent him packing from this location. Sent him to where Williams was. And I believe that uh, Badmos and Williams
I surrender. I surrender. Please, 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 move it. Move, 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 move. Don't worry about that. Move and don't do anything for you. Move, 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 move. Said I should come and check you. Oh, God, you are very strong. Ah, when I grow up, I want to be like you. <laughs> Stop! You know, I never thought for a second that our blood would work. Oh. But we thank God it did. Um, what are you guys talking about? Yes. What did you guys plan? You know, when, when I received the call that you were kidnapped, then... Well, my team and I are specialized in rescue, mission and tracking and them stuff like that. So when Oga called, an idea hit me. I thought about it. If we have to use mobile phone, it is very obvious, they will detect. Mm. So I thought about planting chips into one of part of his body but they might easily detect with their scanner. So I just said, okay, uh, wristwatch is common, you know. That one is easy to, you know, look away. Everybody's using wristwatch. So that was how we planted the chips inside the wristwatch. And there we are today. Actually, that, that chip will be used for tracking. And at the same time, it has an uh, audio recorder device. Wow! Yes. Uh, did you get the watch? It's um... the evidence, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, we got the evidence, and um, presently my guys are working on the audio file. Okay. Yes, we, we've got enough evidence to prove Ben's innocence. <laughs> That's good. And to ah. prove Ben's innocence. <laughs> yes. And to convict those. We can chief and this call. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank God. Boss, come to think of it. That's your job. It's too dangerous. Boss, I just thank God that you guys are alive. Ah, ah. I'm me too. I'm me too. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Mrs. Oyoi, I'm so sorry I didn't greet you. Oh. No yes, problem. Ah. No problem, <laughs> sir. No problem. I just thank God that. You are safe and sound. Come and join us. Oh, sorry. I'm part of the family. You are good. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I just like you, okay, guys. That's good. Well, with the evidence presented before me, I can say without any doubt that you, Chief Balogun, you are guilty. You are hereby sentenced to life imprisonment with hard labor. Detective Paul, you are a disgrace to police force. Your family, the country, and God 
you are entrusted with the responsibility of our security. But you pose an even greater risk. So, you are hereby sentenced to 10 years imprisonment with hard labor. Oh. Benjamin Oyewole, you are hereby discharged and acquitted. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you are free. You can go. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What do you want from me? I wanted to tell you both that I forgive you. What? I killed your father, my friend. I'm sorry. Well, if Jesus could forgive me, why can't I do the same? I want you two to know that God loves you. Don't push me. Move, my friend. Ah. Move, Jack. Hello, Ben. How are you doing? I'm doing very fine, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, Dad. So, how are you doing? I'm better now. Uh, the doctor told me you'll be discharged tomorrow morning. Cool. Are we going home? Cool. I can't wait for that. Yes, that's, that's good news. <laughs> you know I can't trust people. I know. Bless you. Ben, how are you fearing? Uh, we thank God, sir. I'm doing very fine. And I would like to appreciate you, sir, for everything, for being there with me all the way. For everything, sir, I really appreciate I know, you, sir. Come on, uh, you're my son. Uh, <laughs> thank you, daddy. You're my son. You, oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> you're my son. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, um, I'm planning a picnic for the day after tomorrow. Wow. That, that's nice. That's I nice. can't wait. I can't wait for that. Okay, so. Woke up this morning and I don't want to leave Things happening so fast that I can't seem to see Please can you tell me how can I get back to me Show me the way that I can free And how can I stand against the whole world Yes, he 
he set me free Forgave my sins and then he told me to leave He took all the shame, took it all at Calvary Now I can shout, shout I'm free So now, now I stand against the darkness 